behave organizing committee. First of all, I want to thank you for all the efforts that you did put into the success of Global Bank Forum and the Young Leaders Program. Let me introduce myself. I'm Adam Anshala. First of all, I'm very happy and glad to be among the semi-finalists selected between about 4,000 applicants, as I hope that I will meet your expectation to be one of the finalists to be selected for Young Leaders Program and be able to attend the Global Bank of Forum. I am a student researcher on the fields of public relations and management with an interest on international relations. I started my studies here in Morocco and then when I was selected as a young ambassador in the US from Morocco, I had my senior year there where I had more studies on PR. As my mission as a youth ambassador in, of Morocco in the US, I had to promote for more cultural exchange and more dialogue between the two nations. I might add to that that I had a complementary training in, the, in Germany about the European Union and the Macro Union funded by the Foundation Konrad Adenauer. I had the chance to develop my knowledge by being invited by the government of Malta for Annalyn's Forum of the Mediterranean and International Relations, as well as the simulation of NATO for youth in Madrid, Spain. On another side, I'm actually working on the implementation of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals here in my country, with a focus on education and women empowerment throughout different projects that they are co-leaded by local and international organizations that I collaborate with here in Morocco, stating as ISEC that I joined since 2012, where we work on the aspiration of multiculturalism and intercultural values among young students and youth in general here in our country, in our country and to give them uh, a better international exposure. And I add that in 2013, I co-founded the first Lions Club here in Morocco, co-founded co and leaded only by youth, where we work on projects that work with women and girls in remote areas, helping them to fight illiteracy as well as poverty. On this last point, we are currently committed and working on the elaboration of a women empowerment project called Women Up, which is an e-commerce platform that allows these women to sell their homemade products, such as carpets or some textile or some other bio, bio oils, to a wider range of clients all around the world, giving them a financial independence as well as they can be able to send their daughter to school instead of work in the big cities. On the other side, I work as well on the promotion of social entrepreneurship and as well as international commitment and youth debating in, on a national competition that gather young students and university uh, students as well. So, that was the main points about my studies and my social involvement. At the moment I'm learning German and I learned English, French and Arabic. So, how did I know about Young Leaders Program? My mentor participated in a conjoint program between the Ministry of Youth of Morocco and Azerbaijan and it was held in Baku and it's there where he learned about Nijami Ganjavi International Center. Since he knows my interests on international relations, multiculturalism and intercultural dialogue, he advised me to follow more the center and, he, and its activities and try to get engaged with. After some research on the website of the Nizami Ganjavi International Center and on its uh, other social media platform, I've been following its high-level meeting in the Baltic and the Eugene 
area as well as the other side of the European continent. Uh, I did read some of the rich published, published articles and then I get to know about the Global Bank Forum and as well as the Young Leaders Program, which I applied last year. I wasn't selected, but since I was very motivated and I wanted to take part of the forum, so I went to have more international exposure and then more international experiences so I can come back again this year and apply again. So that's how I knew about Global Bank Forum, Mizami Gunjab International Center, as well as the Young Leaders Program. So why specifically attended this program and not another one? So while my mission as a young ambassador back in the US, I did have the chance to meet the young, a youth representative of Azerbaijan. We had the chance to discuss many subjects as uh, our country's challenges, perspectives, and cultures. I was very amazed by the multiculturalism that Azerbaijan hosts and how it succeeded to create from its differences and from diverse and from its diverse culture, uh, diverse culture, sorry, an asset and a point of strength, which is something if we are seen today uh, in the global scene, it is something that a lot of countries failed to do, more specifically some European countries and as well as the USA has failed to recently find the balance between its diversity, multiculturalism, and national identity. So that's what impressed me the most about Azerbaijan, as well as how they are envisioning to get detached from the economy of oil and gas towards a more open economy that is based on infrastructure, as well as uh, international investments. That was one of the things uh, that impressed me on Azerbaijan and motivated me to get more about it and more about its culture. So, you know, when that Global Bank Forum is taken in Azerbaijan, I would add that on the global scene, we have different kind of forums and summits. For example, we have NATO summits that focus only on the questions of security, and how we can fight terrorism um, and other security related questions. We have Davos Forum that talks more about economics and how doing business and doing business. So in my opinion, there was only this gap on the international scene to have a forum that gathers global leaders to understand, discuss, and as well as have a dialogue on the challenges that we are having in our world. And Global Back Forum is here to fill this gap and give us a ground of discussion and dialogue beyond all the political leaders, uh, sorry, the political borders or the political conflicts. So we can understand better each other throughout dialogue um, and exchanging ideas and perspectives. As well as it is one of the unique forums that gather different stakeholders from the public and, and the private uh, sector, as well as a multicultural diverse delegates, prominent experts and political leaders. I would add to that former and actual head of states along with young leaders, all of them in one single place together in the spirit of exchange and mutual understanding. So we can create a better understanding towards the solutions that we want so we can face nowadays global challenges and as well as I would repeat myself to ensure a mutual understanding. So what do you think what do I think about the main concern that we should be discussing in the framework of the fifth global back and forth? For me, I believe that the world today, more than any time before, need a better understanding of multiculturalism, 
its values and what it means and how we can achieve peace through it. In my humble point of view, we are living in a world full of terror, wars, and instabilities. And I, and I assume that it's because we are afraid. We are afraid from the other, from the different other. So we start assuming and claiming that the, the different other that we don't know is dangerous and we should protect ourselves. So that's why we are putting more and more uh, security measures. And this is where the problem comes. Because this is not the right way how to solve our nowadays global challenges. I believe that we should promote again more for multiculturalism so it can help us and guide us to achieve a global peace. Peace is not achieved or assured once the war ends. It's not a mathematical equation, it's not a mechanical, uh, it's not a certain, it doesn't have a certain mechanism. Once the war ends, the peace is going to be restored. Because after all, peace is a mind of state. Peace is a culture that we should establish and promote more for it. And so we can reach this stage of global peace. I, it can only achieve after we understand each other and accept our differences and go into a more efficient dialogue gathering us all together, rebuilding trust between nations because this trust is already, we, we did lost it. We have to create strong bonds and crossroads and to trust in the new emerging geopolitical powers. Today, we need dialogue more than we ever needed it before. And that multiculturalism is a path towards a global understanding and a peace in a multipolar, multipolar world. I believe that we can achieve it throughout this vision. So how can I contribute to your leaders program? I believe that uh, after some international and national events and uh, forums and trainings, I it would be my pleasure to bring all what I learned and exchange with my other young fellows as well as that so I can help so I can help and get to know more about their perspective, how they see things and how we can solve today's challenges. I believe and I vision into creating a strong lasting network between the youth of the Young Leaders Program so we can find ways on how to collaborate together so we can create actual projects that we can lead together toward a global peace 